There are more than 100,000 people uh, in prison for economic crimes in Russia. Uh, Mikhail Khodorkovsky is one of them. Uh, it's very unlikely that he'll come underneath that amnesty. Uh, let's just remember Khodorkovsky, he was the richest man in Russia at one point, uh, one of the biggest oligarchs. He was jailed back in 2003. He spent the last 10 years in jail, and it was widely seen as a political move. He'd started to back opposition political parties, and his jailing was seen as a sign that Putin, uh, when he first came in, was going to tolerate uh, the wealth that the oligarchs had got in the 90s, but he wasn't going to tolerate them meddling in politics. Uh, he was then uh, jailed again in another trial in 2010, and the appeal that we'll hear today is an appeal against all of those verdicts, all of the sentences, and his lawyers, of course, asking for him to go free. Uh, that's unlikely to happen today. What we will see, we'll see Hodakovsky himself address the court by a video link. That's the first time anyone will have heard for him in two years. He's been locked away in prison. Uh, but uh, as I say again, he's unlikely to be released today, and he's also unlikely to be released underneath that amnesty. Uh, his term comes up uh, in October next year, so he should be released anyway. Uh, but what we're hearing is far from an amnesty. We're hearing that there might even be moves to prepare a third case against Hodokovsky, which would keep him in jail even longer.